New at noon, South Florida is getting ready for the Super Bowl next year. And today the volunteer headquarters was unveiled for the big event. Local 10 News reporter Parker Branson was there and he joins us live from Miami. Hey Parker. Hey, yeah, we are about four months away from the Super Bowl, but all hands are on deck right now from preparing for events to planning transportation. But it all starts with those volunteers. And today the volunteer headquarters was unveiled here at Miami Central Station. It takes thousands to put on this big event. I love this place and we should have a Super Bowl every year here. So thank you. guys. Super Bowl season is upon us and South Florida is preparing for the single largest one day sporting event in the world. Things have changed since we last hosted the mega game back in 2010. There was no tunnel to the port. There was no bright, bright line train. There was no Uber. There was no Lyft. There was no Airbnb. There was no emerging neighborhoods of Alapata, Wynwood, the design district and Doral. Back nine years ago, there were about 2,500 volunteers. Now 10,000 are expected. We'll go through 15,000 applicants. Everybody will have a background check. Everybody will go through training. Doral based clothing brand Perry Ellis providing the about 10,000 volunteer uniforms we got a first look at today. You could suit up in this gear if you sign up and get the gig. Those who volunteer will be stationed at highly populated areas like restaurants, Bayfront Park, team hotels, and Brightline stations. And speaking of transportation, Brightline has a plan in the works to move millions of guests around from all the way to West Palm area down to Dade County. This is really going to regionalize the event. We feel like we're the answer for anyone hoping to avoid traffic, uh, that the headache of parking, and the stress of I-95. City officials plus lead ambassador and Hall of Famer Dan Marino are getting ready to showcase the city. And I felt it was real important for us to try to put the best show on we can put on and I wanted to help out. We want to show off our city as the commissioner said we want it to shine. And February 7th is the date of this big game. Of course, there will be free concerts, free events. We will let you know about those as they are announced. And of course, we do have more information on local10.com if you do want to volunteer. We're live in Miami, Parker Branch and Local 10 News.